the highest priority uh, for Democrats on this committee remains the same thing it's been since we inherited this economic crisis, that is creating jobs and creating economic growth. Last month we got some good news. The economy created 36,000 jobs in February, and private sector jobs, and the unemployment rate dropped to 7.7 percent, the lowest it's been since 2008. However, that unemployment report also contains some familiar news. Once again, unnecessary cuts have led to 10,000 fewer public sector jobs. Can we please put the slide up on the monitors? And there you have it, what our unemployment rate would be, could be, and should be as we go back in this recovery uh, objective that we have. This has been the story of our recovery. What are the consequences of not having enough police, firefighters, paid firefighters, and what are the consequences of not having enough teachers? As you can see from the slide and the monitor, uh, according to the household survey, there are 950,000 fewer people employed by state, local, and federal governments today than there were in 2009. You may jump and say, see, we've accomplished, but you've never ever, ever put before the American people what are the consequences of those particular layoffs. Shame on you. These are not the faceless government bureaucrats that the other side likes to demonize. There are the teachers in your child's classroom. Somebody mentioned teachers before. The cops and the firefighters. Oh, we pat them on the back. Keeping your community safe. If these people were counted as employed, our jobless rate today would be 7.1 percent. Is this just the direct employment? There are well understood secondary and tertiary effects of these cuts, which were magnified across the country by reducing aggregate demand and consumption. And that is why the majority's approach to budgeting, that we can slash and burn our budgets, achieve prosperity, is fundamentally flawed. We tried it in 2001, 2003. We're going to have 1,400,000 more jobs. And what happened? We lost 8 million jobs. Why are we doing this again? Why? Just look at what's happening in Europe with the austerity budgets not only haven't reduced that. And let me tell you something. The way debt has been described on this panel is totally, totally unrealistic. Why in God's name would we want to follow down the path of Europe, the path of poverty? That's the only place this roadmap will take us. Creating economic growth by investing in our country is the best way to reduce our deficits. The first thing we need to do is replace the looming sequester. That's 750,000 job, jobs. While they're not all today or tomorrow, they're coming. Our ranking member will offer an amendment to completely eliminate this short-sighted cuts and balanced way that will keep our recovery going. We must invest in job creation. And with that, I would yield 2.5 minutes to the gentleman from uh, Rhode Island, Representative Mayor Cicilline. I, I thank the